Welcome to video 20 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to show you how to use uh, add explosion force. Alright, so in the uh, previous video we've got our overlap sphere working and the grenade is in fact collecting all of the colliders within its blast radius. Now it's time to add explosion force. But just before I do that, I need to give the player a layer besides default because I don't want the player's rigid body uh, to get uh, affected by the explosion, uh, which, w which is what will happen if I don't control what layers are affected. So I'll just go here to the layer, add layer, and I'll just put in a new one, player, and come back and just apply it. And not to everything, only this object, because this is the only object uh, that has a uh, yeah a rigid body on it. So I just should just check that, and yes, it is the only one, so it's the only one that could get affected. All right, so that's good. So now I'll go to my uh, script. Uh, so coming here, um, I'm going to get rid of this debug log here, and I'm going to add two new variables. I'm going to add a public float, uh, I'll call it, say, explosion magnitude or explosion power. I'll set that in the inspector. And I'll also add in a public layer mask explosion layers. So uh, the layer is affected by uh, the explosion. And what I am actually going to do is I'm going to adjust the overlap sphere now. So I am, in fact, going to uh, put in explosion layers because I've thought about it because I don't want the player to get affected by the explosion. So I'm going to put in here explosion layers. And I'll set this in the inspector. And so now only game objects off the relevant layers will get touched by the overlap sphere. And before I apply, before I apply a explosion force to the rigid bodies of whatever was hit, I have to first make sure that they actually have a rigid body. So I'll say if get component, or rather if hit col dot get component rigid body is not equal to null, then that means it has a rigid body. Then the next thing I need to do is I have to make sure it's not is kinematic. You set a rigid body to is kinematic if you're moving it manually and you don't want it affected by physics. And instead, you want to do something like transform to translate. Uh, but anyway, I'll say then a hit col dot get component rigid body a dot is kinematic is equal to false. No longer is kinematic. And then I will add the explosion force. So I'll just copy this line to make things a bit quicker. And I'll say a dot add explosion force. Now I must state uh, the magnitude of that explosion. So I'll put in here explosion power. I must say where the explosion originates from. I'm going to use explosion point, the position that was passed in uh, based off the hit collision contact. Uh, so explosion point. Uh, then I must supply a radius. Uh, so the the area of effect of this explosion force, the further away the rigid body is from the source of the explosion, the weaker the explosion effect will be on it. So the, I guess the explosion power tapers down. And uh, that is just going to be the blast radius. Uh, next, an upwards modifier to make stuff well, fly upwards more instead of just spreading away. And this simulates uh, pushing the explosion point down. So I might just push it down one so that it makes things just want to fly upwards a bit more and just look more, well, interesting. And finally, the force mode, it needs to be impulse, a sudden application uh, of force. Okay, uh, and I think that's pretty much it. All right, so now I need to go to the inspector, go to the prefab, and uh, just put in some explosion power, say 200 explosion layers. I'll first set everything, then I'll say that I don't want it to touch the player. Okay, so it'll ignore the player. Oh, so that's pretty convenient that I can do that. Uh, then I'll hit play. 
jump in. Let's see if it works. Yeah, that looks like it works just nicely. And I don't think the player has been affected, otherwise I'd probably find my player flying through the floor or something like that. And you can see that how it affects everything or not based off the uh, radius, the blast radius. And you can find, you can see that, that the closer you are, the well, closer the source of the explosion is, and then the further, the, well, the more force is applied to the game object. And if it's like far away from them, then it's just a weak kind of uh, force application. Anyway, so that was pretty interesting, and that's pretty neat. Anyway, so you've seen how to use um, uh, add explosion. Uh, I think it's about time I start to show you as well about the nav mesh and nav mesh agents. And then so that way you can have some enemies to shoot your grenades at uh, eventually. All right, thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.